Oh, hello. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth. Uh, today it's January 5th, 2013. I'm not sure I've got anything to say, but uh, I haven't made a video in 2013, so I thought I'd make one. I can always come up with something, I guess. I'm going to, I'm looking at my blog here, Howard's Notebook, and there'll be a link down below to it. And, uh, man, Ann Coulter appearing on some show. As that man just said, why aren't we getting the names of uh, recently paroled criminals? People with gun permits, by definition, do not have criminal records. Clearly. Why can't we get the criminal records? No, we can't get that. Why can't we get a record of women who've had abortions? Um, they get money from Planned Parenthood. They get money from Medicare, from Medicaid. Much of this is as it, it, their tax subsidies. I think, you know, mothers might want to know what other women on their street have um, might be willing to murder a child. Um, how about the list of rent control departments in New York? And by the way, from producing lists even of, of gun permit owners, I want them for Manhattan. I want to know how many rich liberals with their bodyguards have. have. And she just goes on. She is uh, called a media whore. Uh, she says things just to make news, just to have people buy her books and what have you. But man, she is just almost insane. Although, I guess you're not insane if you know. I mean, she knows what she's doing. She, but man, what a kook, I tell you. Uh, New Jersey Governor <laughs> Christie, I'm sure what he is saying is, uh, you know, he attacked the Republicans, and he's a Republican, and uh, Speaker Boehner, but uh, because of his kind words about Barack Obama after the uh, hurricane hit New Jersey and everything. Republicans are not happy with him. Republicans aren't happy with, man, their their party is, uh, they don't like the uh, Supreme Court Chief Justice, their own man, and they are, I mean, on every issue they're just, but, you know, um, Chris Christie is really helping himself. I mean, I'm not saying he's, but uh, he's helping himself uh, by his, the position that he's taken. Um, what really pissed me off, and I blogged about it, is, um, you know, the Penn State situation where little boys were getting raped on the state college, you know, you know, the university and the bathrooms and that whole situation uh, there with uh, Jerry Sandusky and what was going on and the cover-up that was going on. Now the governor, <clears throat> who was an attorney general <clears throat> when some of this was going on and who... Uh, was aware of, of this apparently several years before it I mean but now you know now he's, he was attorney general but now he's governor and he's upset that uh, Penn State is being penalized you know why is Penn State being penalized and, and he's suing or going to sue the NCAA for those sanctions you know I, I know there's legal things Legalities where you have to follow the rules in your organization and you can't. But if I was the NCAA, I would just, uh, if, if you could do it legally, I would just say, oh, okay, you know, you're not happy with the uh, penalties. So what we're going to do is just uh, kick out uh, Penn State University from the NCAA they will never be able to ever play, you know, football. That you're out of the program, goodbye, have a nice life. 
but I'm sure that there was when the penalties were put into effect also I'm sure that probably Penn State had to sign off and the NCAA probably had to say okay this is all we're going to do to you or whatever but if I was in the position if I was at NCAA and and I had the authority or whatever I'd just say okay governor your university is no longer going to ever play NCAA football. Man, it really, what a, I, which well, I commented about the area that I live here in West Fort Worth and how there was a, about the closest eating place to me uh, was a sort of a Thai restaurant or I think Thai, what was it, Thai and something else. I didn't eat there for a while, and then I started eating there. Well, they had a all-you-could-eat lunch, and then I started eating there, and then they went out of business. You'd think I I, I couldn't keep them. I didn't put them out of business. I don't actually, when I, I love all-you-can-eat places. Uh, Well, I love places where you you go and just get what you want out of, you know, they have it there. Uh, But I'm not somebody that can eat a lot at once, but I... If I could sit there all day, or if I could have it in my room here, put it, put it, you know, put a thing. I'll be going over there all the time and eating, but I just can't sit down at once. So you're not going to lose money on me. So I didn't put them out of business. But anyway, they went out of business so a year or so ago, and I've been waiting. And uh, the other day, I saw a sign being put up. Oh wow, you know, a sign. They're going to put in something. And it's a title mark, a title place where you. Uh, that's a. In recent years. First, there was, of course, there's always been pawn shops, but not, I don't think, well, I guess it depends on where you are, not a lot of pawn shops, but then there was uh, payday loan places, and that's a place where you go, and they loan you a small amount of money, and you write them a check for a, like two weeks or something, I think, maybe a month, I'm not sure. I think it's like two weeks. You write them a check, and then they... Anyway, you pay a tremendous amount of interest, unbelievable amount of interest, and so tons of those places have opened up. It's like a gold mine to those people. Now they've opened up title, car title places where you take your title to your car, if it's paid for, I guess, and sign that over to them, and they loan you some money, and then, you know, at, an, at a high, extremely high interest rate, and then you better come back and pay them the money or they just have your car. So that's what opened up up there. I was hoping something would open up that uh, that doesn't help me at all. I am watching the West Wing. The West Wing, I not long ago I blogged that I'd signed up for a Netflix again to watch streaming video and that the only thing I wish they had was uh, the West Wing. I love that TV product. And I've seen them when I had Netflix before. I got them on DVD and watched them a couple times through. And I watched it when it was on TV and they had the reruns going all the time. And I'm watching it again now since they just added it so I can watch it streaming. I uh, blogged about uh, uh, who is it? Intel has been talking about or saying that they are going to offer a la carte for cable. Well, it wouldn't be cable, it'd be over, I guess it would be cable, but it's not. You could just pick the channels that you wanted. You'd get a box, hook up the box to your broadband connection, and you could just pick out the channels you wanted. Uh, I thought that might be a good idea, but from reading the story, and then I heard after this that apparently there is a problem and they're rethinking it. But even after reading the story, I, I, I think maybe it's probably not as good of a deal as it sounds. I loved, uh, I've blogged about that, made videos also about it. I mean, blogged about it and made videos about the word uh, nigger. That you, you know, uh, especially because there were some events that came up and I blogged about those, talked about those where, where the news media person you know, wouldn't say the word. The word was said, somebody said it, and they were reporting on it, but they couldn't, they wouldn't say the word that, that 
you know, they wouldn't say the word nigger. And I said, that's fucking crazy. If you can't uh, fighter aircraft or something went, just flew overhead. I don't know if Blue Snowball, which I'm trying out again today, if you could pick it up in there or not. Uh, but uh, I said, you know, if the... I mean, if you, knew, if you can't report on it, if you can't say the word, then don't report the story. If some comedian says, you know, the word nigger, and you're reporting on how terrible it was that he said the word, if you can't say the word on the news, then don't, don't report on the story. And uh, Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson just made a movie, and uh, he was being interviewed. Let's see if I can pull it up here. And the reporter who was interviewing him do you know what a bounty hunter is? You kill people. And they give you a wound? Bad. They are bigger than reward. Uh, that's right. More aircraft going over. So, oh, hey. Wow, you look like a reservoir dog. Oh, my God. Please tell me that was on camera. Oh, that's what I was going for, man. Oh, man, you got to go. I got to tell you, you are the reason that I have this job and the reason why I love movies. Oh, so, so thank it. you so thank much you. for your time. I appreciate it. And yes, I am going for the reservoir dog. Oh, wait a minute. This is a 17-minute. I'm not sure when we get to it. But anyway, uh, Samuel L. Jack, the guy who said, you know, was, uh, wouldn't say it. said, you know, the, I don't know if he said the N, you know, N-word, but he wouldn't. And Samuel L. Jackson says, what are you talking about? And uh, say the word. And the, you know, the interviewer, uh, no, I'm not going to say the word. And Samuel, I'm not going to answer your, uh, it was great, uh, just great. And the, the interviewer would never, wouldn't, wouldn't say the word. I don't blame him, I mean, because probably, even under those circumstances where the person being interviewed, one, it would be bleeped out, and the, the uh, commentator did say that, said what, it would be bleeped out anyway. And the other thing, I could see the, the guy, commentator, getting into difficulty, whoever employs him or whatever, saying, you know, well, you shouldn't have said it no matter when. And he'd say, well, you know, Samuel Jackson, he's black, by the way, uh, you know, told me, he demanded, you know, and I think so. the guy was probably right not to say it because he could get into it. But it's just crazy. I got a lot of things, I you know, like movies that they put on, t if they put a movie on television, you know, like on regular television, over the air television or not cable, I, I don't think they should be able to bleep out, if, if you can't show the entire movie, if you can't show the movie with the contents in there, then don't show the fucking movie. Uh, the same with several, been several movies, uh, I forget what the movie was, there was some movie and right, Right at the at the end of the movie was one of the my favorite parts that I really liked, or whatever. And that's then they shrank it up the TV the movie into a little box, and then around it they had things that were coming up or whatever. So you're, you're you know the movie hasn't ended, but it's in a little tiny box up in the corner. And then another thing was uh, the movie Ghost, which Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, Okay, well, she's okay, but they don't cut her, but whoever the guy was who was dead and was the, uh, no, he, he, yeah, he was dead. So he says to her, I forget what it was, he says to her, uh, you know, damn it to hell or uh, something like that. Go ahead and say this or tell her or do such and such or something. It was very mild. It, it wasn't like the stuff you hear on, uh, in, in movies and TV all the time. But whatever channel it was on, they decided to cut out his word or change it to something else, like to, you know, to by golly or something like that. And that was the only change I think they made in the entire movie. And then, of course, then her response is, oh, something effect, you know, how dare you say that and don't you say that, that type of word or that type of language around me or whatever. And I thought, you know, they shouldn't have shown the movie. 
if they had to cut out the word damn or hell or whatever it was. So there's a lot of little things like that. that and I think as I'm getting older, it, it's uh, more and more of those kind of things upset me. Actually, what I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this month is I am going to uh, cancel. I've got charter cable service, which I've been happy with. I've been happy with all the channels. I, I pay about 150 a month, and I, I get must be 250 channels, and they're HD channels. I got high-speed internet, uh, phone service with them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the telephone service and the cable television. And then I'll just have the high-speed internet, and I'll be paying about 60 a month instead of 150 and so I'm going and I'm not even sure that I'm then going to hook my TV up to some sort of box I'll just I'll just use Netflix and go to some websites like I do I do like HD TV and I think I can go to their website and see their shows all on the on the and I, I think I'm just going to live without uh, now I can hook up the TV to get over the air digital, you know, local stations or whatever, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I, uh, you know, I wish I had canceled the service back before the start of the election thing. And I, so I could have just not watched all that. So anyway, that's my plan. I think I'm going to do it later this month. The reason I'm going to wait is I want to buy one of those boxes so that I can uh, use Google Voice, plug it into there, here, put it, you know, and use that as a, so it's a phone service. I used uh, Skype in the past, and uh, and I could use Skype with that box also, but in the past when I used Skype, uh, if I shut my computer down, then there was no phone service. Uh, with this box that I, I want to get, uh, it won't matter whether the computer's on or not, as long as it's plugged into the broadband connection. So that's my that's my plan. Also, what I've still I've mentioned this months ago, I still cannot make up my mind on a new handheld radio. There's that's the Yezu. I like the looks of it. And I like the functions of it. That's a Kenwood. I don't really like the looks of it, but it, it, it's got really great functions. And it, uh, one thing I like about it, the software comes with it for free. And also, you, it has a USB connection on it, so you can plug it right into, you know, right into your... Anyway, there's, now there's a uh, ICOM, which isn't out yet. And they, it's not FCC approved, and they don't even have a price for it. And man, it looks super. And what I, but I don't have any patience for waiting. When I'm, when I make up my mind, I want something, then I, I get it. Uh, you know, when I've got the money, and I don't. There's this new Icon. HT radio coming out that is just super. I mean, according to, you know, the uh, specifications or whatever. And I don't know. They don't even have, have a price on it yet, and it's not approved by the Federal Communications Commission yet. And so, but uh, anyway, um, this is the first video of 2013. Thanks for watching.